Hello everybody, this is Budrich and I have now released Lintlord to the public. It's available on GitHub, it's available in AUR uh, if you are using ARC. Otherwise you can just clone this repo and uh, do a sudo make install using the make file or you can just copy the link lord file here which is the script uh, that is all you need to your path. Uh, and I thought this video could be a little demonstration here on how it works uh, right now. Uh, I also wrote uh, some wiki pages here describing the different uh, functionality. First, let's uh, install it. I use J as the RU AUR helper, so just do this and it will install Linklord for me. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and the wiki here, uh, it's uh, the same same text as you can find in the man page. So you can do man Linklord after you have installed it, and then you have this man page here containing the same information as the wiki. Um, the first time you execute Linklord, it will create a settings uh, directory here in by default in home.config. Uh, it will actually try to read this environment variable Linklord settings deed, and if that doesn't exist, it will uh, default to, to config link, Linklord here. So Linklord. There you can see it created the directory here, and we also get this D menu uh, that lets us select a link here. Let's select this Linklord wiki. Then we get a new menu for prompting us for an action. Uh, print percentage T percentage U. Select that, and it prints the title and the URL here. Let's open this uh, settings directory. It contains uh, these two files by default and this uh, directory here links which contains these example links. So if we open this file for example, these are uh, the links. Uh, then it have this action file which contains the, those actions. We will look into this more closely soon. Uh, and um, this settings file is probably the most interesting one. Here you can uh, add some configuration for how you want uh, Linklord to behave and appear. Uh, history size uh, is how many, yeah, because this dot history dash L here, uh, that is um, a file containing the last selected link. So every time I select something with Linklord here, it will add that uh, link to this uh, history file here. And the next time I execute it, the, the last selected item will be the first in the list. Uh, but you can, by, by changing the value of um, history size here, you can set how many uh, history links you want to display in the menu. Because uh, after a while you will get a lot of them and it can be nice to, to have a limit on this. So you can set that here. Split on is the string that um, separates a markdown file um, where, where Linklord add uh, uh, links like this. It will uh, create a yeah, we, uh, I showed you this in, in some other videos, but I guess we get back to that also as well here soon. Um, this uh, char blacklist uh, is the characters that are not allowed in titles. Uh, for now it's these brackets, uh, opening angle bracket and single quote is not allowed uh, as title. And then you can set the prefix. Uh, if you want uh, different icons, right now it's, th it's these ones, they are font awesome. So if you install this uh, link lord and you don't have font awesome installed, it might uh, show up here as just blank boxes. But you can change this to any anything you want. Um, but then these uh, are probably the most interesting ones. Uh, the menu uh, arrays here. Uh, Right now, by default, it's a D menu because I think that's the most commonly installed one of the different menu programs that exist. There exist a lot of them, but D menu is really popular. Uh, but then you have uh, Rofi, uh, which is another one. And if I want to use Rofi instead, then I can just change this command here to, to use a Rofi menu. Now it will display the, the menu with Rofi instead. And if I select the link, 
you can see this the action menu is now um, is still the menu because that's a different menu here I made it like this because uh, I don't think most people will use different uh, Rofi for one menu and D menu for another but maybe you want different options uh, to for for matching and sorting and stuff for different menus so then you can set that individually here and it even works for yeah any menu program program you know so for example the fussy finder um, but that's a only that only works in terminals. So if I execute link lord now, we get a fussy finder menu here in the terminal instead. But that will only work in a terminal. So if you want to use that, then it can be a good idea to uh, uncomment this uh, block here. And we can change this back to Rofi or D menu. Now I added a test here, because this setting file, it is actually a bash script, so you can add the bash functionality here, but be, try to be a bit cautious when doing so. Um, and it will get sourced into the Linklord script, so yeah, be, be careful with what kind of variables and stuff you add here. And you cannot write functions in this file, as it is now, at least, might change that. Uh, but now it will test here, if we are in a terminal, then it will use, uh, whoops, then we use um, Fuzzy Finder for all menus, but if um, I execute the menu outside of a terminal, for example from a key binding, I have one here on the super semicolon, now it uses the menu instead, but it's the same script here, it just loads different settings depending on if we are in a terminal or not. Um, but there you could also see when I selected uh, the print action there, that just print uh, that takes to, yeah, who knows. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but let's uncomment this because I don't, I never use this uh, fussy finder, so I'm not 100% uh, sure exactly how it works and stuff. Le let's uh, keep uh, the menu here. Uh, the, the biggest reason I did I, I went through doing this uh, setup here with the menus was that so I could use my own uh, weird uh, menu you know uh, I like i3 menu and then um, maybe a layout a here and that will display a menu in the a container here whoops wrong there now I get a menu like this uh, but that would just get really weird to have this hard-coded into the script, so so I thought this would work. And I really recommend you doing something like this if you create a program with a menu uh, and want to use Rofi or D menu or something. This is much better, then, then you can let the user uh, set whatever menu they prefer, you know, because there are people who refuse to use Rofi and there are people who refuse to use D menu and Rofi exist and so on. Um, and also nice to have them all at one place here because often you want to change uh, uh, the options in all of them or whatever whatever these actions um, there are two different actions uh, that are available there is a dedicated wiki page here uh, and those actions are print and exec and print prints uh, the string to, to standard out um, can test it again here and the action menu is displayed every time you ha have selected a link so I select uh, a link here get the action menu and then I can do print because I don't have to select one of the items in the list I can add more items if I want to or write my custom ones so if we just do print hello world then it will print that to standard out here so you don't even have to use the URLs and, and title if for some reason you wanted to do that but if you want to use the selected title or the selected url you can use these special symbols here percentage u and percentage t uh, and now we will also see here if i select the link then um, the last uh, command here I, I entered in the action menu will uh, be available here in the menu it will save it um, but if i want to print only the url I can do this print percentage u and that only prints the URL here. So I hope you 
understand how it works. Uh, maybe not the most useful thing in the world to just print something to standard standard out, but um, I don't know. It can be useful if you if you want to use it in scripts and stuff like that. Um, the other uh, action is exec, uh, which executes or it will evaluate the rest of the uh, line here. So try this with selecting a link. And then exec, uh, let's do notify send percentage t. So this will print and uh, create a notification. It will evaluate this notify send URL in quotes here, and that will look like this or title in quotes. And there it just printed the title here as a notification. Uh, but you could, all, of course, execute evaluate and any kind of commands. Um, I have a command that's called uh, browser that just uh, focuses the browser. Uh, but if you give browser a URL as the argument, uh, then it will open that URL in a new tab. And it's much faster do it using this browser command than, than using, for example, pale moon and then adding the URL as an argument. That works as well, but uh, it's much slower. This uses pentadactyl here and paste the URL, whatever. But let's say we wanted to use this with uh, Linklord. Uh, Link Botlabs YouTube channel, exec, browser, URL, or like this. There, now it opens uh, the YouTube channel here. My internet is a bit slow today, I don't know what's going on here. But uh, there, it opened the page there. But this might seem a bit um, uh, inconvenient to always select an action like that. Uh, you can bypass the action men menu by just specifying one of the actions as command line options like this exec. And then we can uh, add browser URL as a argument here to, to the exec option. So this whole string here is one argument. It's important that you put it in, in quotes like this. And there I see I forgot one single quote. So this should work as well. Now we will not get the action menu. Now it will uh, execute that uh, command immediately here without prompting for, for, for an action. And you can do the same with print. So if we do print here instead, selecting something then it just prints uh, the string here to standard out. So that's how those things work. Uh, and then it's e easy, you know, we can just bind this to a key binding or something. I have one there uh, I showed you in i3. Let's see where we got it. Maybe I should have prepared this a bit. There it is, super key, semicolon, execute link lord. If I wanted to to use it as, as like a bookmark launcher, then I could just add this this command here. Reload i3 and then yeah, let's also see now. Hello, hello. Yeah, it works. Uh, <laughs> so super semicolon brings up the link lord. I select the link, link lord wiki it opens in the browser immediately. And this, as you can see, the, or whatever, that's because my browser program and stuff, but the nice thing with having the, the bookmarks uh, separated from the browser uh, in its own application is that we don't even need to have the browser open to, to open links here. That's kind of nice. Um, but what is a bookmark manager uh, if you cannot add bookmarks to it? Uh, you can do that by using the add option. And if you want to add a, a URL here, let's say you want to add this Mondo page or whatever, we just do this, add Mondo, then it will prompt, prompt us here for, for a title, which is another of these menus uh, I showed you there. Uh, maybe let's add a title there for Mondo. Uh, Mondo GitHub. And then it asks which uh, category, I guess Bud Labs is a good category, but just for, for uh, displaying here how this works. Uh, 
we can add another uh, a new file to store it in and then it will create a new file here and there we have mondo github but let's say we wanted to, to add it also to, to the bud labs um, bud labs file that's no problem we can add the same link to, to multiple files if we want to there now it exists in both of these files and it doesn't matter now that that it do so uh, when we display the the menu it will never uh, display duplicates and there we can see our mondo github select action let's just print this right um, same thing here maybe you don't want to uh, get a prompt for every url you add you can bypass that with uh, uh, the title option here and then you can uh, add a title add a title hello now we will only get prompted for for the category which is the same thing as a file we can uh, save it in another file which i created a subdirectory there by just adding a, a slash in, in in the and here we can see it already have that uh, title there that we added on the command line but you can also add a category option to to automatically save it to a, to a specific category and there now it created the category immediately here and th this can be useful if you add uh, batch add a, lo a lot of links uh, from from a file or something and, and you already know the category and the title or or something like that what do i know um the last uh, feature and the reason i created this in the first place is uh, of course uh, the ability to, to automatically append links to markdown files uh, which I guess is what makes this uh, bookmark manager different from others. Um, and that works, you just give it uh, the path to a markdown file, then it will uh, search that markdown file for uh, links. Let's see where I am here. For example, here we have a readme.md here that is. Um, this no it's not it's, it's uh, this readme here and here i have a couple of links here i don't think it will find it or it might find this link since that is in the bud labs file here we have linklord wiki uh, but the linklord aur is not in in the in our database right now so if we do here link lord and then we give it uh, readme.md as the argument it will search that for links and, and append um, found or missing links this document actually already have both of these links appended here but now since the wiki one doesn't exist in our database it will always recreate uh, this list here so uh, this will actually remove that uh, wiki link for us and we will also get a confirmation here that uh, added linklord wiki but no url for linklord aur and now uh, the document should look different here and um, yeah uh, uh, and that's how that's how it works uh, and the reason i wanted wanted to update the, the list like that i think that's just good because then you can update the links you know in the database and stuff and you never get duplicate cates here but Right now, I need to re-add this uh, Linklord AUR link there, but uh, we could could do this. Do Linklord add and there. I add this URL to to AUR. Give it a title, and if I give it the same title as we have here, it should work when we append it later. Linklord AUR. Uh, and we can save it in the bud labs category now we, if we remove this just to show that it works and do link lord readme it will uh, pro, uh, tell us that both of these uh, links were added <coughs> ok 
Okay, okay, okay. What more? Yeah, I, I guess that's that's all. And it finds links. It finds here. It finds these links that are reference to reference. But it will. It, it can also find links that uh, looks uh, like this. Yeah, those are the two types of links it, it finds here. Now we'll get no URL for looks like this. But if we if we add a link that we know we have Mondo GitHub, for example, then it will find that in our database and insert it added mondo github as well and it works really well with large um, uh, large uh, link databases here I, I here is for example all arc wiki links uh, all english wiki links which is about uh, 2000 pages here um, or it's almost all whatever it's a lot of links and it's no problem at all to 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 have a file of that size. There now we have two thousand entries here, and you can still search and, and open them. Let's test one. Amarok uh, exec browser. Then it opens that page. So, so it's a really nice little bookmark uh, bookmarking thing. Um, that's link lore. It's available in AUR uh, on GitHub everywhere. Feels really good. Uh, this program, uh, I know that this is something that I will constantly use now. And of course, uh, I will not go into any details here, but I have uh, uh, bound, uh, bound this to a key binding. Um, let's see if we can find a good page here. Here we have, for example, uh, Hugo documentation page. I have a key binding in uh, um, in uh, pale moon so I can add links with, with pale moon here you see here I get a menu uh, link lord or download if I, if I select download it, it will download this page but I want to use link lord then it prompts for a title some Hugo page category Hugo I guess and it adds that and, and here you can see when, when, when you add uh, links and or execute uh, link lord not from a terminal then all messages will get uh, displayed in a, a notification instead printed to the terminal like this whatever i know that i will use this program uh, maybe some someone else will as well it's uh, I, I think it will be great here especially for for just uh, making it easy to write markdown documents have a great day, everybody. Bye.